This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Agun Erev Shabbos, Chassam Soifer, on this week's parasha, draws a comparison and a connection between two seemingly diverse concepts. And these two concepts are tzedakah and mishpat, charity and justice. One would not think that these two concepts go together. Charity, on the one hand, is sort of going beyond one's um, obligation and showing compassion. And justice is following the letter of the law. Shura Sadin. Nevertheless, the Chassam Soifer says these two concepts um, are very much connected. First of all, we find that uh, when Hashem was about to destroy the city of Sodom and He was vacillating, should He tell Avraham or not that He's going to destroy Sodom? The Pasuk says, Ki yedativ. Hashem says, I love Avraham. Why? Lamana Yitzaves Banov. He commands his, follow- his family, Lasleis Tzedakah Mishpat, to do charity and justice. So we see that the Yibam Shem is choosing Avraham because of Avraham's combination of charity and justice. In fact, the Chassam Soifer says, the words, a love Hashem be'eloine mamre, a love Hashem be'eloine mamre, Aleph, Yud, Bez, Mem, Rashi Tevois, Aleph, Yud, Bez, Mem, Rashi Tevois, the word mevi, Mem, Bez, Yud, Aleph. There are two psukim in Tanakh that have a Rashi Tevois, mevi. Number one, the Chassam Soifer says, Matan besesa yichbe'af, gifts given secretly will cover over the anger of Hashem which is the concept of tzedakah. And the other pasuk that has Rosh Hashanah's maybe is Melech B'mishpat Yamid Eretz. The king with justice establishes the earth. So we have these two diametrically different concepts of tzedakah and mishpat, and they both have the same Rosh Hashanah's. Matan B'seisar Yich Be'af and Melech B'mishpat Yamid Eretz. These two concepts, these two diverse concepts, they both have the same Rashi Tevois, and they're both marumas in the words, Elav Hashem Be'eloine Mamre. So, interestingly, says Chsam Soifer, what is Avraham Avinu doing at this point? He's doing tzedakah, he's doing chesed to these archem. However, the Rebbein Shalom comes to Avraham and he says, Ah, oh, when, when Avraham sees that the Rebbein Shalom came to visit him, Avraham wants to stand. It says, V'hu Yoishev, Rashi writes, it's spelled Yud Shin Vez, which could be read Yashav. It says Rashi, he wanted to stand. Hashem said, sit. This is going to be a simon to your descendants that this is the paradigm of a Jewish court system where the Dayanim sit and Ve'elekim Nitzav Ve'adas Kel and the Rebbein Shalom stands. So while Avraham is doing tzedakah, Hashem says, I'm going to be Meramis to you, Mishpat. So that's another example where tzedakah and mishpah go together. And the Rav Shalom says, I'm going to tell Avraham, because Avraham also um, personifies tzedakah and mishpat. And in fact, the words, Elav Hashem Eloni Mamre, are Rashi Tevois Mevi, which is Matan Beseisar Yich Be'af, and Melech Be'mishpat Yamid Eretz. And perhaps we could suggest that, these, that this combination is really the hallmark characteristic of the Jew. There are many people who are naturally um, kind-hearted and generous and uh, compassionate to others. And yet when it comes to following the dictates of reason and justice, they could bend the rules because they're used to, so to speak, going above and beyond. On the other hand, you have people who are very strict and just, but when it comes to um, finding compassion in their heart for other people, they, they don't have room for that. We could say the hallmark of the Jew is the combination of the two, to know when to be compassionate to others, when to go above and beyond the law, and when to follow the dictates of honesty and justice. And the greatness of Avraham Avinu was he was able to um, combine these two character traits of tzedakah and mishpat. Okay, wishing everyone a wonderful Shabbos. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.